Kyle Allen Stanley for Houdini.com. And in this segment, we'll be talking about changing a flat tire. Certainly it's inconvenient, but we're going to walk you through it step by step. Lift up this cover to access the spare tire. We'll unloosen it with the hole down. Then give it a couple good wraps. Make sure it's full of air. Worst thing you'd want to do is put on a flat spare. Then you'll remove the tire. Careful, this can be quite heavy. Well, we have our spare tire in our jack. We've set our reflective warning signal out. We've also chalked the wheel on the opposite side of the flat tire, so we're ready to start changing it. The first thing we'll do is jack the vehicle up. You'll have to loosen the jack a little bit in order to get the handle off. This particular model has the lug wrench built right in. Before we jack, though, we'd want to loosen the lug nuts, because once it's jacked up, it's going to be very difficult to get those lug nuts off. This particular model has a hub cap, which will just loosen those up. It doesn't take much because they're made out of plastic. Set the hub cap out of the way. Now you have access to the lug nuts. Loosen the lug nuts. Position yourself firmly, pressing counterclockwise. Loosen the lug nuts. Not too loose, just enough to crack them. If this is a little stubborn, Position yourself over using your knee or your foot. You can gain leverage. Now we're ready to jack it up. This is a common scissors jack. The screw moves in and out, allowing the me mechanism to move up and down and lift your car. So as you turn it to the right, it'll go up. As you loosen it, the jack will collapse, allowing the car to come down. Now we'll position the jack. You want to be sure to get the jack on a good part of the frame. Your owner's manual is a good place to find where to properly jack the vehicle. You can raise it up by hand until it contacts the frame and is in good position. We use the jack handle to raise the vehicle. Insert the end of the jack handle into the jack. Using it as leverage, it'll help make the car go up easier. Remember to turn it clockwise to go up and counterclockwise to go down. Carefully jack the car up. Never stick your hands or your legs under the vehicle as the car can fall and cause damage. Jacking can take a while, so be patient and cautious as you jack. Okay, now that the car is jacked up, now we'll take the lug nuts loose. Remember, we already pre-loosened them when the car was on the ground, making it easy. As you notice, they'll come right off now. Trying to do that while the car was jacked up would be very difficult. Remember to keep your lug nuts in close hand. You don't want them rolling away in the grass because they'll be hard to find and that's what holds your tire on. Again, we're turning them counterclockwise to get them loose or to the left. We'll remove the flat tire, set it over here out of the way. Now if there was heavy traffic area, you wouldn't want to leave it in the street. You might want to put it to the rear of the car. Grab the spare tire, put it in position. You're going to center the spare tire on the wheel studs. That's where the lug nuts go. So go ahead and do that. Lining it up. You see it lines up pretty easy. Then install your lug nuts. Again, clockwise is tight, counterclockwise is loose. So we'll tighten them up by hand as far as they'll go. Once the tire is centered, lug nuts are hand tight, take the lug wrench. Again, turning it clockwise, tighten the lugs till they're firm. Not too tight because remember your car is up on a jack. We wouldn't want it falling off with too much leverage or force. Insert the jack handle back into the jack. Turning it counterclockwise again, we're going to lower the vehicle. Again, this will take some time, but going down is a lot easier than going up. If it seems to be going down easy, you can just do it like this by doing it straight instead of having it angled. But if it's too tough, you can angle it and get the leverage that you'll need to lower the jack or to raise the jack. Turn the jack low enough. You can do it by hand now that it doesn't have contact with the frame and we can remove it. Now that the tire's on the ground, we'll go ahead and give them that final tight. And we're going to start down here, then move to the top one, then back down, over, 
and back again. A little star pattern, making sure we have equal torque on the wheel studs. Okay, well we have our spare tire on, it's aired up, we're ready to go. A couple things to remember though is you want to put everything back in the trunk. You don't want to exceed highway speed on this temporary spare. Make sure you get the big tire fixed and it'll get you back on the road as soon as possible. I'm Alan Stanley for Howdini.com.